Hey guys, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony here with another plush review. This time, this is on five characters that have absolutely nothing to do with one another. They are all, they are five characters, all from five different movies or games or shows. Um, and, well, they are the only characters of their respective series that I have, so I'm just looking at, at them all together in this one video, and off screen, my black cat just entered the room. Hi, Esme. So, anyway, I'm gonna take a look at these characters. First, I'm gonna take a look at Link, though this is actually Toon Link, but I don't think that, um, any other version of Link that isn't Toon Link even exists. Though I could be wrong about that, and if I am, I'm sure someone will post a comment uh, stating this. So, what we have here is that we got... Well, Link basically is a boy that has boots, and he wears green, like a forest green. Though in Skyward Sword, it was just the color that he had for his, uh, for the, uh, the clothes that the Knights of Skyloft wear. And he's got yellow colored hair, though in some other games it appears to be brown. And he has a sword, isn't that pretty neat? Now I think this is supposed to be Link from the game called Wind Waker, which as of the time of this video, I have not played, but I have heard about it. And he also includes a shield, which kind of looks like a scorpion, and the Triforce on there. So, yep, that is Link from the Legend of Zelda series. So, I'm gonna put him to the side. Next, we're gonna take a look at Pikachu from the Pokemon series. Now, I actually have am not that much of a fan of Pokemon, though I do like the character of Pikachu. He does look pretty, uh, cute. And once or twice, or, or once in a while, in the past I have seen the, uh, cartoon show that features, uh, that features the, uh, of Pokemon. And, well, what we have here is basically either, this thing's supposed to be a mouse or a rat or a cat, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's all of those. Maybe he's a mix of all of those. So he has a yellow body, and he's got red cheeks, and he's got black eyes, and black tips on the ends of his ears, and he has a very crazy tail. And he's got brown stripes on his back. Now, one of his crazy abilities is to shoot electricity, which, that does sound pretty cool. He goes, Pikachu! Kind of like he's uh, sneezing or something. So, that is Pikachu. I'm gonna put him over there. And the next character I'm gonna take a look at is Conker. Conker is a squirrel that was first introduced in the game Diddy Kong Racing. And he later got his own game called Conker's 12 Tales for the Game Boy. I've not played it, but I have heard of it. But, and then, a couple years later, he... Well, they were planning on releasing him, uh, wait, no, not Twelve Tales. Pocket Tales. That, that's what it, it was called. And there was supposed to be a game called Twelve Tales that I believe were going to be released for the N64, and I have seen beta video clips, uh, showing what this game would have looked like or could have looked like. But, in the end, it was decided for the game to become... Well, something that was aimed at an older audience called Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now, Conker's Bad Fur Day did, well, was planning on having a sequel called Conker's Other Bad Day, but sadly, that never came out. But, but a couple of years later, after the release of the original uh, N64 game, they did release um, a remake called Conker Live and Reloaded. And, th and this is... 
this is the Conqueror from that version of the game. Though, he looks more realistic, though then again everything in the, in the Live and Reloaded remake looks more realistic than the original N64 game. I have the original N64 game, but I do not have the uh, Live and Reloaded version, and I don't think I will because it's a lot more disturbing than the N64 game. And plus, I kind of like the N64 version because it's a lot closer to the other games that the same company, Rare Rare, has produced, such as Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and Donkey Kong 64. So that's Conquer right there, and I think there's a wire inside of his tail, which sounds kind of odd. I also do not get the fact that they gave him pants in the remake, but otherwise, it, it is pretty cool for a character. Okay, so with those three characters out of the way, now we're going to talk about two that have nothing to do with video games, or at least not originally. I'm going to take a look at Perry the Platypus. Now, this is supposed to be the secret agent version, or as some people better know him as, Agent P. Now, I haven't seen the entire movie called Across the Second Dimension, or Third Dimension, was it? Someone in the audience will know. But I have seen the ending to the movie, where everyone has to have their memory of Perry being a secret agent be erased. Now, I honestly do not get why they have to have it be erased, because why can't they know that Perry is a secret agent? I mean, are, 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 is the agency just afraid that the villains are going to go after the houses or something? I don't know. I'm sure someone will give me a better explanation as to why they had to have their memories erased. So, yeah, that is Agent P. Now, onto the very last figure, Minion. Now, this is a... <clears throat> this is a Minion from, from the movie Despicable Me. Now, I really did not know exactly what to call this thing at first, though. I did kind of call it a sweet corn guy, because he does kind of look like sweet corn from Conker's Bad Fur Day. But then after I saw the movie, I found out they're just called Minions. Um, isn't there an actual name for this species? I mean, is it even a real species, or, or is it just an experimental species, like they were just created through science and not by natural means. So this is a minion that has two eyes, some of them have one eye for some reason. But they all wear these uh, goggles, they have these, um, I guess, metallic ends to them. And they all wear overalls with a G on them. Uh, at least I think that's a G. And they all have hair on the top of their heads, and they all s speak a very odd language. Yeah, that, that is kind of interesting. So, I've seen both movies. I've seen Despicable Me, and I've seen the sequel, Despicable Me 2. And both of them were pretty good. So that is about it. That is my review on Minion from Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2, Harry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb, Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and Conquer Live and Reloaded, Link from Legend of Zelda, and Pikachu from Pokemon. So, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye for now.